the County of Del Norte, State of California. It is January 27th, and the board is now meeting as the uh, governing body of all taxing and special assessment districts for which the board so acts. Only those items that are on the agenda at a specific time will be heard at that time, and all other items may be taken out of sequence for public and staff availability. I would ask, like to start the meeting, to ask you to uh, please join me in a moment of reflection. ask uh, all to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by our new sheriff, Eric Apperson. Introduction of new employees. Do we have any? No new employees? Okay. How about uh, report from actions from closed session by county council? No reportable action this morning. Okay. This time the chair requests any deletions, corrections, or additions from board members to the agenda. In order to add an item to the agenda, it has to have arisen subsequent to posting the agenda and requires action prior to our next meeting. Is there any such item? If not, then we're going to receive brief reports and announcements relative to County of Del Norte programs, projects, business uh, from our fellow supervisors. And I'm going to start with Supervisor Howard. You just knew I might be long-winded today, didn't you? That's why you wanted to start. No, no, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've... Um in the tradition of this great board, I've tried to be a little more active out there and checking out what's going on. And um, especially in the district, the last couple months have been really exciting. But there was a couple pieces of my visits to various folks in the community that I did want to highlight. And in particular, um, we've all been well aware of the um, trials and tribulations around funding of the Rowdy Creek Fish Hatchery and the length of efforts they've gone to survive over the years under regulatory pressure from National Marine Fisheries Service and the uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife to try to survive and stay intact. Um, in particular, specific with funding, it's always a challenge for them to, to keep moving. And they've done this through various means, public donations. But at a highlight of a year for the Rowdy Creek Fish Hatchery has always been the Rowdy Creek Fish Hatchery Derby which in the last couple of years has waned in the number of participants from out of the area. But uh, they've received some new energy this, this year. Um, and I really want to recognize the efforts of Kimberly Swift and uh, stepping in as a coordinator for that fish hatchery derby. She's been able to fully seed every available team, which is 22 maximum teams for that derby with people from out of the area. It is absolutely amazing. And with the efforts of both the Rowdy Creek Fish Hatchery Board, which um, is made up of members of the public and also Smith River Rancheria, they have gone to great lengths to make sure our hatchery is preserved. And I just want to recognize their efforts of both the board and Kimberly Swift in making sure our, our great river survives, more importantly, with a strong fishery. And uh, our lovely Rowdy Creek Fish Hatchery Derby continues to, to make a strong push. I also had the opportunity to uh, go and visit a new business within my district, Antec Biotech Inc., um, a business that's out of Taiwan that just recently purchased um, the old Hastings Nursery, which was uh, relatively used at, to some extent by uh, Simpson, Green Diamond, and Realm in the days for the growth of redwoods and Douglas fir trees. And I'm happy to say it'll be growing trees again. Antec uh, Biotechnology is, is a company out of Taiwan that has purchased the land to specifically grow a, a species of yew tree that's not native to California, which is the Pacific yew, but a, um, an Eastern Pacific Rim species of uh, Chinese yew for the production. 